us pray for forgiveness through the grace of Jesus Christ. Father, through the obedience of Jesus, your servant, and your son, you raised a fallen world. Free us from sin and bring us to the joy that lasts forever. We ask this forever and ever. Amen. A reading of the Gospel according to Luke. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them ahead of them in Paris to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers to his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, say first, peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and stay with them. Say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that clings to your feet, we wipe off and protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. When we think of Jesus' followers, many times we have the tendency to think of the twelve apostles. In today's passage, Jesus speaks of another seventy. There was sort of a internship, if you will, while Jesus Christ was still with them. This mission was the same as his own ministry, and that was to cure the sick and tell people that the kingdom of God has come near to you. We see that Jesus sends them ahead of him to every town and place that Jesus intended to go. He was on his way to Jerusalem, and rumors of what Jesus was doing undoubtedly spread through the town of Samaria. So these 70s will announce his coming by showing people a preview of his work. It's also the same preview of his ministry that he gives us today. And that is to be ahead of him bringing the message where we go. Jesus warned the 70 that there would be resistance, that there would be rejection, and it's the very same thing today. In my homily today, I would like to quote St. Teresa's of Avila's, the well-known saying reminding us that now we carry on the ministry that Jesus gave us, and it goes like this. Christ has no body on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. You are the eyes through which the compassion of Christ looks out to the world. Yours are the feet with which he is to go about doing good. Yours are the hands with which he is to bless others now. Let us all now proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.